Okay guys, so this is uh, my first race of the 2020 season, about uh, a year off due to I uh, snapped my Achilles tendon this year. And this is my fastest lap of this race at, uh, at ACP, Arizona Cycle Park. And um, I'm pretty critical of it. I, I can see an awful lot of places where I should have been going faster, should have been pushing harder, but uh, it's easy to judge after. And during the race, I was pretty tired. And this isn't my forte, this motocross kind of stuff. And uh, it's kind of beat me up. I'm not used to the big jumps. It's not good for my bad neck. Don't really enjoy it much. But I, I would enjoy it if I didn't have a bad neck. But so I, I pull a short on a lot of the jumps that seem like they could really screw me up if I if I tried it and did come up short. That one there I cleared. There's several of these tabletop ones I do clear, but I I uh, pull back on some of the bigger tabletops over on the full motocross track. This is the vet track here. I ended up placing uh, fourth in my class, 40B, uh, the intermediate guys, and then I, um, I placed 21st overall out of all the B riders. Uh, there were 23 guys in my class. Overall, there were 81 B competitors. I finished 21st out of all those. You may see me getting past a fair amount. I was kind of happy to see that most of those guys passed me a red plates. Get pounded in the face with the rocks here, and uh, I got pounded in the face with rocks a few times in that exact same place by A's or double A's coming by, and they, uh, I think on the next lap after this one, they broke the lens on my GoPro, but I have a protective cover on it, so it just broke that. It didn't break the lens itself, so a little $5 protective pack paid for itself. Right here, I'm just definitely not attacking hard enough. I should definitely be pretty much flying through there. I don't know why I let it slow me down there. I don't know how to do flat turns worth of crap, so I did horrible and all that. And I don't even, even when I have a berm, I don't hit them hard enough at all. This little section is a lot more whooped out than it looks like. Um, Luckily, I was following one of the A riders through here once and found this path over to the right, which I really like to use the rest of the race. Or never on another lap did I see anybody else using that line to the right either. That's kind of odd to me. Come up really short on that. I don't even attempt that jump because I've seen people jumping it full jump and they get just tons of air, and my, my neck certainly couldn't take that landing. This double right here actually hurts. Uh, I never could find a distance to jump it that it didn't hurt. That one right there hurts. There's a divot after it. If you go a little long on it, you land in that divot, it really hurts. Should be railing this better. I just don't know how very well. Right here, I stalled my engine on the first lap. It had a flame out. One thing I've noticed in this video is that the audio makes the engine sound even more uh, subdued. Makes me sound like I'm attacking even less than I am because uh, some about the way the uh, the GoPro captures the audio doesn't catch the meaty sound of the engine. These whoops were, I'd say, at least two feet deep. They. The video is very uh, misleading as to how significant they were, but at the same time, the, the fast A guys and the double A guys just come blasting through those things. Right here in this whoop, I about ate it real hard later. I think on the next lap, uh, wheel got crossed up, brought me to an instant stop. Look at this guy fly by me over here on the right. I don't know who that is for sure, but and he was hauling compared to me. I had other double A guys come by me 
even faster than that, much closer to me at some points, but those guys seem to be on rails. I don't know how they're so in control. I do, I did, I'm doing the whoops better here than I did earlier in the race, and even still pathetic, right? But uh, it's one of those skills I've never really worked on much. I, I probably should. I'm even more, uh, like these sand whoops, I'm a little braver in them than I would be if they were not, not sand. I think I'd be more slowed down in them because they just intimidate me. I've had a really hard off one time. Uh, flew through the air, probably six feet in the air, and landed on my elbow uh, with all my weight, with my bad neck. That was not a good experience. So hey, right there, I definitely should have been slamming through those. They're kind of short, stuttery whoops. It certainly seems like something if I would just pull back on the bike and hammer it, it'd probably go through those real nice. These big roller whoops I got a lot more used to as the race went on and started hitting them a little harder. This section here, I feel like I probably should have been attacking that a little harder, but I'm still doing better here than I did in earlier laps. This section here, these are some little man-made jumps they put in here, and I, I'm doing better on them here again than I was earlier in the race. I'm kind of regretting that I didn't learn to hit them harder, because if, if you cleared those enough, if you hit them enough to clear those little humps behind them, it'd actually be a lot easier on you. But, like I said, everything's a lot easier to analyze in post than it is while you're riding. And also, sitting here watching, the, watching it, I'm not terribly exhausted like I was when I was riding. My heart rate averaged over 100, and, or averaged 173 over the whole race, hour and a half race. And, I'm 48 years old, so that's a pretty high heart rate to be averaging for that long. Of course, some of that is because I'm working harder than I have to because I'm not going fast enough to skim over top of stuff. These whoops right here were just atrocious. Uh, even the A guys were telling me they were just atrocious. But I did see the double uh, A guys, the one or two times that I was with double A guys going through that section. They didn't really hammer through them, but they went through them pretty quick. It was pretty impressive to see. This is a little, I guess you'd call cheater line that developed, and I would say technically it falls outside the specs of uh, being within range of the original trail, but I was there, I was right behind the first one or two guys that went through there, and what had happened is somebody had wadded up in that corner and it basically was the only option to get around them so somebody cut through there and you know once the line's cut everybody's going to start following it since it's a more direct route so i'm pretty confident it became the line everybody was taking this section here got some pretty decent braking bumps and just stutter bumps under the acceleration as well Another little shortcut line developed right here, but it just barely, it was definitely within the within their limits that you're supposed to have. Bike actually pulls a bit of a wheelie under acceleration here that not trying to wheelie, it just uh, got some traction kind of hooked up there, so it's nice. Really gotta learn how to hit those corners better. How to like maybe power slide through them. Should have caught another gear here. Did manage to grab a pass right here. Not good at, I'm not really good at hammering those turning ruts. This one right here, this double, you could triple this. I didn't ever try to triple it. I'm way too leery of coming up short on that with my neck. But there's a bit of a bad landing spot developed there where everybody's landing and spinning their wheel up and kind of digs a divot. Kind of makes the landing suck.
So not this little up right here, but the, the next jump here, the, the tabletop, all these were tabletops. This is another one that I had trouble figuring out where, I, I think I do it pretty good right here. This is about the distance I want to go. If you go too much further, you land on a flat, it really hurts. But that's it, guys. That's uh, one lap in uh, 10 minutes and 21 seconds.